Welcome to Ultimate 100 Days in Minecraft. On day one, it was simple. Did normal Minecraft stuff, you know, chopping down trees, getting materials, getting the starter tools, but I had a plan. You know, wanted to start a base, build a farm maybe, but one goal, defeat every boss in Minecraft. And at the end of day one, I had enough materials to make myself some armor, a couple of pickaxes. I took everything I had, went down to go look for some diamonds. So while searching for diamonds, I found myself a mine shaft and a skeleton. Uh, look, I've been getting attacked by a lot of mobs here and I have no clue why. They were just really hostile. And while mining in the mine shaft, I heard a lot of spiders behind this wall. So. Look behind it, and lo and behold, a mob spawner. Took out these stupid little spiders, and would you look at that? Found myself a golden apple, some iron, music disc. Day two was looking pretty good. Tons of loot. Look at all this. Just stacked on stuff from the mine shaft. Stacked. Woke up on day three to a zombie literally trying to set me on fire. He, he burnt me. He, he, he literally set me on fire. Good thing I had a bucket, gosh. Unfortunately, on day two, I didn't really find any diamonds, but I kept searching and searching and searching and strip mining and I had to resort to my secret weapon. I found some lapis, faced north, looked up and down for those sweet diamonds. And look what I found. <laughs> it's just too easy. It's just, it's, it's really just too easy. But it was like, you know, three diamonds, three, maybe four. I don't know. You know yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Got some diamonds, got some diamonds, got some. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So after my little happy diamond song, I went searching for more diamonds because uh, four diamonds isn't enough. It's, it's really just not going to be enough for anything. I want full diamond armor. If I'm going to be taking out every single boss in Minecraft, we're going to need full diamond armor. Even netherite armor. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot. Oh, we got some more diamonds. Let's go. Three diamonds. That's what I'm talking about. It's a G. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. On day four, I went back up, made myself some diamond armor, and I had just enough to make myself a diamond pickaxe with an extra diamond left over. And you know what I did with that extra diamond? Yeah, <laughs> I made a juice box. Oh, hey, hey, oh, oh, dang, dang. Oh, we know it's right. Oh, we know that again, and we know it's right. Never try, never sky. Oh, dang, retro, retro, retro. Retro, retro squad. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, yo, that song was kind of lit. Holy, I'm keeping this music this. Dang. All right, so after my shameless self promotion, I went back to the geode and started mining it out. I wanted the crystals to grow because maybe I'll come back and get them. I never came back to get them. I did the lapis trick again, and sure enough, it pays off that lapis trick oh my god it, it it's a little overpowered but <laughs> i'm not complaining all right look i i know i know what it looks like <laughs> but you might be wondering how we go from day four to day eight look i had to pee and i paused the game and paused my recording because you know i wasn't gonna keep recording and wasting space came back thought i was still recording made another portal and went to the nether sorry but we have the replay so you can see me right here making the nether portal and everything like that it's just, you know it's all there it's just not recorded correctly so this is my time in the nether basically killing blazes getting blaze rods and trying to avoid death
After I was done getting blaze rods, I started trading with some piglins. Yeah, he wasn't very happy. He kept hitting me, even though I was giving him gold. Like, what the heck? He gave me some potions of fire resistance, and he gave me some ender pearls. So, I wasn't complaining. I thought it was time for me to go venture off, look for some stuff. You know, I've already been to the nether, and I haven't really been around the overworld that much. So, I went exploring. Getting closer to the end of day eight, I found a village, a perfectly good village. It was really good I found that village too, cause it was turning nighttime and I was kinda far away from my little bed in the middle of nowhere. So it would've been nice to sleep in a village house for once. On day nine, I woke up and decided to explore the village. I can't remember what this house is called in the village, like the smelter's house or the worksmith's house but it had obsidian in it so i wasn't really complaining i made my way back to this little spot here and put all my stuff in the chest made myself a whole bunch of bread like i'm talking a lot of bread bread is life I had a good chunk of iron for mining and i had one enchantment book it was feather falling four so i made myself some diamond boots and i made an anvil I was planning on enchanting those boots so I can take a lot of fall damage. I went back to the nether so I could set up another nether portal somewhere in the nether so I can travel a lot farther in the overworld. Let's go. Easy. I don't have any gold to put on. All right, so I was trying to get as far in the nether as possible. I was trying to get super far. Traveling in the nether isn't easy, okay? It's actually very difficult. Day 10, wow, 10 days. It's crazy. A lot has happened in 10 days, but we're still traveling in the nether. Like I literally kept mining in the top of the nether roof for a while. We found another fortress, by the way, which is very nice. If I could set up a portal next to another fortress, that's two fortresses. Easy to find wither heads. I decided to take a risk, drink my fire resistance potion, and swim down the lava. I didn't know lava doesn't negate fall damage, so I could have died. I found an abandoned nether portal. This is gonna be my escape plan. I started looking for wither heads and also exploring this new nether fortress. I found some awesome loot. I'm talking more obsidian, freaking flint and steel, golden horse armor. I'm talking <laughs> premium loot, okay? Got some nether warts because I plan on making some potions, hopefully some potions that'll help me out in the future. And I found tons of bones. This will be good for tons of bone meal, just for farms in the future. And as always, there was a gas trying to kill me, but you know, I've been practicing. I've been playing a bit of baseball, you know, I was down the clown, all right? <laughs> and then I guess his friends wanted to play because every single gas in the vicinity was trying to kill me, even a skeleton. Like, wh what is this? Like, I'm, I'm trying to dodge arrows and dodge fireballs and just, oh my God, there was just more everywhere. They were just trying to kill me over and over and over. They just kept coming. 
Like, it, I killed one, then another one would spawn. I just, I kept fighting, and they just kept coming and coming, and just, oh my god. I, I swear, I, I probably killed, like, 10 or t 20, maybe even, 20 ghasts. Like, just, th there were just tons of them. After I was literally almost burnt to death a thousand times from some gas, I went to go trade with some pillagers. Pillagers? I went to go trade with some piglin. I don't know why I'd say pillagers. Look, if you've been watching for this long, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. I've been editing for days at this point, and it's only 10 minutes in. I, I tell you, like, if you don't like the video, that like, <laughs> come on. After I was done trading, I was finally ready to go into the portal and see what was on the other side. It wasn't really that much. It was just ocean, uh, desert, ice. So I went exploring. I placed down some pillars of netherrack so I could find my way back to the portal. I get lost pretty easily. Day 12 through 14, I was literally trading with this villager over and over again. Uh, good thing I had the bone mill, because the bone mill basically allowed me to trade as much as I wanted. Because well, without this bone mill, I would have had to start a farm. But the bone mill came in clutch. I found Prot 2, was looking for Prot 4, but really couldn't find it. Day 15, after trading for what feels like forever, I went back home to go get the anvil. I started packing up all the essential things that I was going to need because I wasn't really planning on coming back here. On my way back home, I was ambushed by some mobs and my helmet broke. Unfortunate. Day 16, I brought all my stuff back to the village and I was finally ready to enchant. Day 17, I thought it would be a lot quicker for me to make a hay farm for trading with these villagers because I had tons of bone mill and I thought it would be easy. It wasn't. Yeah, the thing basically didn't even work. So after what feels like hours fumbling around trying to figure out how this thing works, it eventually started working and I got tons of wheat, tons of wheat. I went exploring in a desert and not too far away was another village. And not too far from that was a pillager outpost. I knew this would be my opportunity to make a raid farm. I instantly got to work. So this raid farm took a very long time to make. I didn't know how much stuff it took to make a simple raid farm, but I knew the loot was going to be worth it. Day 25, the raid farm was essentially complete. I went to the pillager outpost to look for their boss. No, there's like... 30 freaking pillagers chasing me and none of them have the flag on them <laughs> and they all stop to charge their freaking shits. there's like 20 of them oh lord <laughs> i'm not scared of you <laughs> getting chased by a hundred pillagers is not the way i want to go so i led them to the raid farm and it essentially worked a little bit the majority of them fell inside the hole and started falling to their deaths. <laughs> it works. Why do you guys have so many crossbows? I pushed the rest of them inside the raid farm and head downstairs to check the loot. What the heck is this? One crossbow? Did you not see how many pillagers there were? One crossbow? So at this point, I was furious. I went back. I started to show these pillagers who's boss. I found their leader and took them down. Got bad omens. We got it, baby! We got bad omens. Bring it on. All of you can come through. I want all of you. As soon as I got close to the raid farm, it started. So I hurried up, ran into my little bunker, and started hunkering down. There were a lot more of them than I was expecting. There was tons of them. Hopefully all of them would just run into the trap and I could just kill them from down here. So far, the raid farm was working perfectly, but there was a couple of stragglers up at the top. I had to build a little staircase for them to walk up so they could easily just run into the trap. After fighting for a while, it didn't take me very long to get a totem of undying. This raid farm worked perfectly. We got a totem! After the raid was over, I felt very confident. 
but not too confident because I was still wearing iron armor. I went down underground to go get some more diamonds. Day 28, I finally had enough diamonds to finish my armor. I was looking clean, looking all diamonded up, but I still wasn't as strong as I could be. I went back to the village to start enchanting my armor with protection 4. And for the rest of day 28, I just watched the sunset. Day 29, I basically just chopped down a whole bunch of trees the entire day because I had no wood. I was literally running out of wood. Day 30, I started setting up a mine in the nether so I can start looking for some ancient debris. Day 31, I found this hole filled with villagers. I don't know what they were doing there, but they, they were just stuck in there. So I let them out. Day 32, I sent a villager down into the hole where all my other villagers were. I was planning on making a little trading farm down in my bunker. Day 33, I started getting to work on making a moat or a, like a river so I can get on a boat and easily transport the villagers to my bunker. Day 35, 36, 37, and 38, I basically just AFK'd at the raid farm getting tons of totems of undying. Because if I'm going to be trying to take out every boss in Minecraft, I at least wanted a backup plan. On day 39 and 40, I went searching for diamonds so I could make myself an enchantment table. Alright, I'm going to go through this kind of fast, so listen up. Day 41, basically grinded XP. Day 42, upgraded the enchantments on my armor. Day 43, a creeper came downstairs and blew up this and i had to clean it up oh my god day 44 i am in the nether looking for wither heads i've been in the bunker for a while now and i decided to go explore <sighs> And that was two wither heads down. Basically, I needed one more wither head. I found my last wither head and I was ready to get the heck out of there. After I had the last wither head, I took them and put them on my wall. Just because they looked nice. Day 46, I basically went to the nether roof and made a little chamber for me to fight the wither. Because fighting the wither at the nether roof would be a lot easier than fighting him in the overworld. Because he could fly and all that stuff in the nether roof, he ain't going nowhere. So it would be an easy fight. And when I say an easy fight, I, I mean an easy fight. Just just, just look at this. Just, just look. My man isn't going nowhere. I am perfectly fine in the nether once i figured out how to beat the wither like this <laughs> this fight was literally no match yeah just too easy <laughs> it's just too easy so basically that's the first boss gone now we go and fight the Elder Guardian. Day 47, I started getting prepared. I went down to look for netherite. For two full days, I basically searched for netherite and didn't find any. So I gave up and started searching for something even cooler. Something that'll help me in the Elder Guardian fight. See, I had looting on my sword and I was looking for a trident. I was dead set on getting a trident because if I had a trident, it would make going around in the water. If I had a riptide on that trident, ooh, it'd be perfect for fighting the older guardian. So the first one that I fought didn't give it to me, but I didn't give up. I kept swimming and staying under the water and waiting for the perfect opportunity. Let's go time. Let's go time. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. We have a drown with a trident in the area. Drown with a trident in the area. Drown located. Drown located. Fucking damage. Yes! Finally! Oh my god! We got the trident, boys! Let's get on out of here! Never coming back to the ocean again! After getting the trident, I head home. Like, I was so far away from home, it took me an entire day just to get back home. Once I made it back home, I got on the grind on getting some XP. I needed to get back to level 30 so I could enchant my trident. 
After enchanting my trident, I needed to get mending, so basically, I traded for the next five, six days. I don't know how many days it was, but it was a lot of trading, like trading, cutting down trees. I went and found bamboo so I can make bamboo farm. I, I didn't even make a bamboo farm. I should have made a bamboo farm instead of just cutting down the bamboo, but oh, uh, it, it was so much trading and the trading gave me such good XP and doing the raid and just the good prices. I, I, I basically got into a trading war and traded for the like a, a while day 62 i had an endless supply of totems i had my trident fully upgraded i had respiration on my helmet so i could breathe longer underwater and i was basically ready to go i went into the ocean and started testing out my trident and boy was traveling with the trident so cool and then i saw it the underwater temple i was ready for this it was about to get serious. Now you see, every underwater temple has three elder guardians. And my goal, defeat all of them. Simple enough, right? So I dove down and headed in. They were a lot stronger than I was expecting and they made me use my first totem of undying. Good thing I brought extras. That was one Elder Guardian down, two more to go. I found the second Elder Guardian and took him down too. <laughs> At this point, there was only one Elder Guardian left, so I started searching. And then I found them, the last Elder Guardian. And then that was it. He was dead. The Elder Guardians are dead. I killed them all. <laughs> they were all gone. All that's left is the dragon. <laughs> the dragon. <laughs> Just a dragon! <laughs> just, just gotta kill the dragon! Then, I started to head home. The other guardians were done, and I had no use of this temple anymore. I had a dragon to slay. Day 64, I started collecting ender pearls. Like, tons of ender pearls. Cause I wasn't planning on getting stuck at the portal, right? Day 65, I basically traveled to a bastion temple. And I decided to take that place over too.
Day 67. I was basically finished with the Bastion and had enough Ender Pearls to fight the dragon twice. I looked at my armor and thought it was finally time for me to upgrade it. It's been diamond for a while now, and I think I deserve netherite at this point. After searching for a while, I've only found four pieces, and I was gonna need a lot more than four pieces of ancient debris to upgrade all my armor. So I went back to mining, and mining, and mining, and, and more mining. So I eventually found all the pieces I need to upgrade all my armor to netherite. After like, what, four, five days of just straight mining? Oh my god. Day 73, I decided to make a little bitty iron farm. And I needed to get a zombie inside to scare the villagers so they could start spawning iron golems. Day 74, I basically went AFK at the iron farm to get tons of iron. I wanted to make a beacon. After AFKing for like 10 days, I got really bored, so I decided to go take on the dragon. I had everything I needed, and I think I was ready. Day 84, I found the stronghold and I started mining down. It didn't take too long, but I eventually found the portal room. And I was getting kind of nervous, but... I knew it had to be done. I broke the spawner and started placing the eyes of Ender. All that was left is to jump in. Oh, I died. I thought I died. Oh, Lord. Stand right here and wait for my opportunity. Oh shoot. Stand right here. XP, 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 XP. All right, so the dragon's gone. Easy peasy. But I still have things I have to do. We're only on day 85 and I don't have an elytra. So right after the dragon fight, I went straight on to go getting that elytra. I really wanted it. And as soon as I went through the portal, I saw it. There was literally a ship right in front of me. I don't know how lucky that is, but it felt pretty lucky. So I went straight over there and got my elytra. But unfortunately, I think my luck ran out because trying to get the dragon head, it fell into the void. Oh, I really wanted that dragon head too. I ran back to the portal and jumped right inside. 
to watch those sweet credits. All of day 86 and 87, I just flew around with my elytra and trident and launching myself in the air and using my elytra to glide across the land. It was so great. I loved it. Finally decided to put together that beacon I wanted to make. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but on day 88, I started to make a house. Yeah, a house. I've been living in a bunker for the past 88 days and I guess I was just focused on killing all of the bosses, but I made a house. And I worked on this house for a while. It took a couple of days to finish. Day 98, I just sat at my bed thinking about all the things I've done for this 100 days. So much. And then I got bored. So I went to go fight the Ender Dragon again. Yeah, all the time fighting gas and and gas shooting me yeah i took the gas tears and i made some end crystals and if you use end crystals in a certain way you can respawn the ender dragon <laughs> you thought i was just gonna end this 100 day series not fighting the ender dragon no we're fighting this man twice in fact we're going back for seconds boys <laughs> round two In this fight, I'm chasing you, Ender Dragon. Yeah, I have wings now. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that happened. But I had extra totems. I had extra totems. We're chilling. We're chilling. Ah, um, yeah, there goes uh, uh, another totem. But it's fine. It's fine. We got two more totems. We're. <laughs> We're doing, we're doing great. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This part, this this wasn't even fair. He has fireballs, dude. What the freak? Uh, uh, he's cheating. He's, I don't know why this this dragon fight was so much more intense than the first dragon fight. I don't understand it. I really just don't understand. It was so much more intense. I have I have one totem of undying left. I need to finish this fight. And then, the unthinkable happened. I had no more totems. This dragon was out to kill me. He was so much more hostile this time for some reason. It was like I unlocked hard mode or something. But I was up for the challenge. I went straight to the center, placed a water bucket so none of the Endermen could hit me and waited for my chance.
Yeah. So that dragon wasn't playing any games. I went straight home and got myself another totem of undying. Shoot. <laughs> that dragon wasn't playing around. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace.